Hey, Fitco family, Shelton here. Hey, Fitco family, Shelton Maxi here. FitcoResults.com, ready to give you another um, video. Today I'm gonna talk about um, kind of an embarrassing point in my life, uh, so to speak. Um, somewhat embarrassing, and I may embarrass myself, but that's not out of the ordinary by any means, if you guys know me. Um, but it's about a time when it's kind of a critical juncture in my life, very critical juncture in my life, when I was transitioning from the military as an army officer into um, the civilian world, into the corporate world. And part of one of the organizations I was part of that helps transition, you, transition officers from the military, um, and they have a whole process of, you know, make sure you read a ton of business books to learn how to pick the right suit, to interviewing tips etc etc it's a whole long process to help you um, get the best jobs that are suited for you and your abilities and your wants and needs so coming out of, out of the military I they set you up the end, kind of end state of that they set you up with a bunch of interviews over the course of two days so of course of two days I had 14 interviews within the hotel right so you go room to room, interview with different companies like Kraft, Johnson & Johnson, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, top level, um, you know, or not top level, mid-level jobs that are pretty, pretty good and pay very, very well. So if you guys know me, I don't know, like, I don't like to talk about my, I really don't like to talk too much, period. But talking about myself is a whole nother thing where I'm not really great at by any means. Um, something I don't really enjoy doing. So interviewing is probably not my forte, or at least it wasn't, right? So first day, I went in, had eight interviews, different companies, and I bombed all the interviews. End of the day, they gave you a summary of, of you know, who wants to bring you back for a second interview. And I knew going in, because from day one, from that first interview on, things kind of snowballed down. And I knew that I probably wasn't going to get a second, second interview chance with, with any of them. Um, and at the end of the day, my, my suspicions and thoughts were confirmed. So I knew day two, I had to do something to turn it around. Otherwise, I'd probably be without a job, right? Or I had to find some other means to find a job. So day two, six interviews set up. What can I do to change my mindset, change the way that I was thinking about these interviews? Um, and I know I just want, I just need to loosen up, have fun, and go out there and kill it. So I had an MP3 player. Tons of music on there, big music junkie. And I wanted to find something that would just loosened me up. So I'm looking through, looking through, and I find this song right here, which just kind of set me off in the hotel room in a pinstripe suit. And I was in the hotel room when it came on. And I was like, and I even got my own dance. Humpty dance all night, right? Or all morning, I should say. Lynn and I were just going at it for that full three or four minutes. Hopefully I wasn't too stinky after that interview. I guess I wasn't because that rest of that day, I killed my interviews, right? Why? Because it changed my state of mind. It changed the way I approached and I attacked. I knew that, A, I told myself I'm gonna go out and kill these interviews and I'm gonna loosen up and be who I can be, right? be the personal person that I know I can be. So, killed those interviews, ended up getting a very nice job, um, long story short. And I say this to say that oftentimes we find ourselves in a mindset or a state of mind where we feel like we can't accomplish something in life, where we feel like things are down or we're not good enough for something. But if we learn how to change our state, then we can put ourselves in position to be successful. If we go on with that negative attitude thinking we can't be successful, then guess what? Odds are we're not gonna be successful, right? Best athletes in the world. They go into a sporting event, they know they're gonna go out there and kill it. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Aaron Rodgers, all these people, they know that they are at the top of their game and they go out there and kill what they need to, or do what they need to do to be successful, right? Um, and the same thing has to happen for you if you want to be successful at something, even if it's something that's not your strong suit. Tell yourself it's your strong suit. Change your state of mind. Change the way your body reacts to thinking about that thing, right? If I go into a situation, if I go into, I'm not the best speaker in the world by any means, but I know if I'm doing an orientation or speaking in front of a group, 
the way that I go into that speaking engagement is directly affected, um, directly affects the outcome of that speaking engagement. Whether or not people are saying, oh, great job, or and they're leaving there empowered and ready to take on whatever challenge I may put forth to them, or whether or not they're scratching their head like, what did this guy just talk about? It's all about how I attack the way I'm standing, the way I'm feeling about myself going into that into that engagement. So keep that in mind, find yourself down, put your shoulders back, bring your chest out, and tell yourself you will be successful and it will bring you so, so far, all right? And if nothing else of all fails, just go ahead and do the hump to dance because that never fails, right? So with that, Sheldon Matsy signing out here. I want you guys to bring it. Love you guys. Make some great things happen. Peace.